Brian, I think you need to work extra shift again tomorrow. We are currently short in staff to process sample in microbiology lab. What? I need to work extra shift again. Last week I already work extra shift for four days straight. Oh no? Definition of staffing. Staffing is the process of determining personnel and job needs by recruiting qualified staff, matching them with the proper job and training them to do the work assigned. Definition of short staffing. Short staffing is a condition where the company having fewer than the usual number of people available to do the work. First causes, many professional staff nearing retirement. Effect, not enough new professional coming to replace them. Hence, it will make the current staff responsible for additional work, working overtime and extra shift which will lead to burnout. To overcome this problem, management can recruit new competent staff and provide training for the more hired a contract workers to fill in the vacancy gap. Second, Causes, staff schedule for duty not competent to do job. Effect, this can lead to poor quality of work. If an incompetent staff handling patient sample, it will increase the risk of medical report error. Thus it increases potential harm to the patient. To overcome this problem, provide training for the staff and appoint competent staff for each specialized position. As a result, this staff is able to fulfill the position and provide the best skill that will drive significantly better medical reports. Third, causes, staff often taking a medical leave. Effect, this causes the other medical lab technologist to work overtime that leads to being physically, mentally, and emotionally drained. Consequently, it increases the risk for the staff to get sick that will lead to frequent medical leave taken by staff. To overcome this problem, the management of the laboratory should arrange the staff working system and hire sufficient staff that are able to work in flexible shifts. Fourth, causes, staff with a bad attitude that commonly skip working shift. Effect. This will lead other staff to stress because they have to replace the irresponsible staff schedule and work, thus increasing the turnover rate. Besides, the company will suffer resignation costs due to the company already investing in each employee in terms of education and training. In addition, when a company loses an employee, it must spend more money to seek a replacement. Advertising recruiting, administrative expenditures in recruiting and training, background checks, psychological testing, and applicant interviews are all costly. To overcome this problem, the management of the laboratory should have strict policy regarding staff that skip working. Fifth causes Dissatisfaction of salary Effect. This will lead to a bad reputation of the company from the employee's perspective. Hence, the empty position available in the lab is not occupied by the employees. To overcome, employers could take a more active role in attracting employees by upgrading their work environments, giving sign-on incentives, and relocation aid. Supervisors and managers must cooperate more closely with existing employees to rearrange their roles so that they are more enticing to recruits. Conclusion In conclusion, staffing is one of the most important managerial activities. Decide who, when, how, where will do what kind of work for the organization. The staffing determines how efficiently the organization can achieve the desired results. Thus, each manager at all levels is responsible for the efficient execution of the staffing functions. Inefficiency management causes short staffing and will lead to a variety of adverse outcomes for the staff and for the company itself. 
Therefore, laboratory management should take this issue seriously and take proper action to increase efficiency of the lab and quality of lab results.